With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone, so we are given with the question which says in the figure a truck is moving on an horizontal surface with acceleration A. Two blocks of equal masses M are supported on the truck as shown in the figure. Given that when the block at the top surface is just about to slide, the other block remains hanging at 30 degree from the vertical. In this system, we need to uh, calculate the acceleration, the tension and the coefficient of friction mu. So now this problem uh, can be uh, analyzed uh, in two ways. First in inertial frame and another is non-inertial frame. So we can uh, use either of it. So uh, let's say we are using the frame of reference as inertial. So we will, uh, what exactly inertial frame? So that means we will be, an observer will be observing uh, the whole of the phenomena from the ground. All right, so let's try to understand this by using the uh, FVD for the given uh, figures. So we can say here there are two blocks as we have taken over here. Now we will try to show forces uh, acting on them. So first of all for this block which is hanging at the angle 30 degree. So first of all the string is attached to it. So a tension force will be acting in this direction. So let's say this T and this uh, tension as we can see it is making an angle of 30 degree. So if we resolve its component, so so we can say it will be having one vertical component and another horizontal component. All right. So this component will be nothing but it is T sine 30. If this angle was thir uh, 30 degree, so this angle will be 30. So this this component will become T cos 30. All right. And its weight will be acting in the downward direction as mg. So this is what the uh, FVD for the hanging mass is all right now uh, similar way we uh, also we can see the acceleration is moving uh, is towards right so we will show an acceleration a in this direction all right if we would have uh, if we would have used a non-inertial frame so this acceleration uh, will be uh, shown in the opposite direction as a force uh, with a mass uh, with it so uh, Anyways, we are uh, using it in inertial frame, so acceleration will be shown in the direction it is uh, visible to us, that is towards right. Alright, so now for the block on the top of truck, uh, we can see uh, tension force will be acting in the leftward direction T and uh, acceleration is towards right A. So as we can see the block uh, will tend to slide uh, in the leftward direction due to the tension force so we can say a friction uh, will be acted in the direction rightwards all right which is given by the formula mu n all right so now uh, what we can do over here is uh, uh, first we will take this component uh, or this block and try to get the values so we can write from let's say this is our figure 1 and this is our figure 2 so uh, Considering figure 1 we can say So let's take it over here From figure 1 we are writing it we can write T cos theta will be balanced by mg All right, and uh, let's say this is our equation number 1 and T sine theta By using Newton second law we can say T sine Theta will be equals to mass into acceleration all right, that is the force that is acting in the horizontal direction. So we can write. All right, so this is our equation number two. So if we divide one and two, we can say uh, we are getting uh, 1030. So we are getting 1030 and that is equals to A by G. From here, we 1030 value is nothing but it is 1 by root 3. And here it is A by G. So from here, we can say the value of uh, a would be nothing but it can be written as g by root 3 meter per second square all right so this is what the value uh, we are getting for the acceleration all right so now uh, let's move on further we can say first part of the question we have done that is acceleration is getting a g by root 3 now we have to calculate the tension so for tension we can uh, see clearly if we uh, if we resubstitute this value of a in equation 2 so we can get 
uh, or we can say from equation one any of the equation we can take from equation one we can say the value of t would be nothing but it can be written as mg by root mg by cos 30 and cos 30 value is root 3 by 2 so we can write 2 mg by root 3 will be the tension force we have calculated in newtons uh, for SI unit we are considering so 2 mg by root 3 so yes tension option b is also the correct option finally we have to calculate uh, the coefficient of friction so we will consider figure 2 for that so from figure 2 we can say so again we will apply f net equals to ma so we can say f net would be nothing but it is mu n minus t or we can write mu mg minus of t and that would be equals to ma all right since we know normal reaction is nothing but it is so we can write since n is equals to mg all right so now from here we can uh, substitute the value of t which we have already calculated so 2 mg by root 3 and that is equals to ma all right now since uh, also we have calculated the value of a that is g by root 3 so we can write mg by root 3 so we can uh, give a reason over here since a is g by root 3 and t is 2 mg by root 3 all right so from here we can say mm uh, mg mg will get cancelled out so we are left with mu is equals to uh, 1 by root 3 plus of 2 by root 3 and that is equals to 3 by root 3 so this is the value or this can be written as root 3 so this is the value of mu, uh, coefficient of friction we are getting and if we check it is not matching with the option so we can say option a and b is the right answer to this question so i hope you have understood the concept well and thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today